Hey guys, what's going on? William with Carboxel Gaming here, back again for another video. Uh, this time I'm starting a new series called Check This Out. So, this series is going to be me looking at indie games and new games and things like that, and kind of giving a sort of first look at typed review of it. And I've played... I'll play the games for a little bit beforehand so I kind of know what's going on, and then I'll give my... Uh, give kind of the rundown of what it is. So maybe if you want to buy it, you can, and whatnot. So my first game that I'm looking at is called Papers, Please. And Papers, Please is a indie game found on Steam for $9.99, or at least today, which is the uh, August 19th. So kind of rundown of the menu, exit button, story mode, which gives a story in kind of days, and stuff ends at six o'clock every day so you kind of have to admit as many people as you can uh, you'll kind of understand more of what i'm saying there in a few minutes uh endless mode there'll just be an endless stream of people coming through that never ends and the days never end settings uh full screen on that's kind of ob uh, obvious nudity i have off because youtube doesn't comply with that uh, easy mode it just makes things a lot more simple uh, that's off for me right now uh, date format it kind of changes depending on what you want first so year month day uh, day mo month year or month day year I have it on month day year because that's what I uh, use uh, music I have low and sound I have low just for YouTube sake and for you guys I probably change that if I wanted to but still doesn't really matter okay so we're gonna go to story mode um, so you can see here, it, the save games kind of depend on how many days you've gone. So I'm going to start a new game, a uh, new first day. So it says congratulations. The October Labor Lottery is complete. Your name was pulled. For immediate placement or report to the Ministry of Admission on Gretzen Border Checkpoint. An apartment will be provided for you and your family in East Gretzen. Expect a Class 8 dwelling. Glory to our Stotska. So, the basic theme of this game that we're going for uh, is you are an admissions uh, clerk, I guess you could say, with the Artstatska Administry of Admission. And your job is to accept and deny uh, people coming through your border to Artstatska. And you kind of have to find discrepancies in passports and do all that sort of thing to find out if they are allowed to come through to the uh, Artsatsk the country. So, here it says, Gretzkin border checkpoint opens at last. After six long years, can the Ministry of Admission keep us safe? Uh, I also should note that I've been playing this game a little bit, so I kind of know what's going on. So, November 23rd, 1982. Um, here it says, uh, the Artsatsk Ministry of Admission official bulletin. Inspector, welcome to your new position at Gretzkin border checkpoint. Stamp, passports, entry, visa and return documents to entrant. Entry is restricted to Arstotskin citizens only. So it says entry is, you know, is restricted to the Arstotskin citizens only, but soon enough they'll change that depending on how well I do on the first day. Like it can be changed to Arstotskin citizens only still, or it can also, you know, change to everybody with a valid passport is allowed to go. So deny all foreigners glory to Arstotskin. Um, you gotta pay attention to the passport and their nationality and here's basically what's going on but you'll see that in a second anyway and boo -boo -boo. so that's just the news for the day so that goes in that spot okay and so we're gonna open the shutters with that button there and press the sound speaker up here to call a person in line so they're gonna come in here I say papers please they're gonna open this up and this person has a valid art stop skin passport pretty easy to see so we pull out that button and that pr brings out our stamps stamp it approved give it back or at our satsuka that person gets through I call on the next person the early game here is pretty darn simple um, we see people he, this girl is from Impor and the people from Impor are not allowed our Stotskins only entrance denied to give it back game next so soon enough though when the clock strikes six we will not be able to uh, Republica nope not our Stotskin denied give it back 
Um, soon enough, when the clock strikes six, we will pretty much end the game because you're not allowed to. Uh, they don't have to pay to get through after six, so you pretty much lose money. Uh, this guy, papers, please. He's from Arstotska. Approve that guy. Oh, there you go. Uh, Glory to Arstotska. He's good. Um, so that's when the game ends for the day. Once at six o'clock. So, pretty much just do this for a while. It was a mistake to open this checkpoint. <laughs> okay. I guess that guy just had a few choice words to say with us while waiting in line for an hour. So this guy is an Arstotskin citizen. He can come through. You don't have to actually, you know, put it on the thing, but it just has to be close enough. Uh, I should also mention, this is the rule book. You will learn more about this in a second, because it'll be more important for the next day when that comes around. Um, Arstotskin citizen. Boom. Check. Give it back. Um... That's kind of more important for when discrepancies are found, determining if passports are actually passports are actually real or not. Uh, Republica, no, denied, and things like that. So that's not going to be too important right now. Can also give you booth information. Uh, what's this? Impor. Nope. Give back. Um, things like that. Uh, also gives diplomatic seals because sometimes people come through with papers like we have special permission to come through. So here's the papers, but sometimes they fake the papers and the seals aren't real. This guy's from Kalachia. Not, not happening, buddy. Um, Republica. Oh. Yeah, okay, so that's that's the first day. So now you can manage your expenses in the checkboxes below. Uh, depending on whether you want food for your family or heat, rent is just there, so that's what it is. Um, everybody seems to be okay. I'm in class 8 dwelling, so everything looks good for right now. I, can, I have enough money to buy all of these things. So we can sleep, and next day. Uh, so the next day, Wednesday, uh, entry restrictions to relax admit foreigners. So this is where things start to get more interesting. Or now they're just admitting uh, everybody who has a valid passport. So you have to check for discrepancies determining whether passports are actually valid or not. So we'll open her up. And okay, just read this. From today, foreigners with a valid passport are permitted to entry enter. Your booth's inspection hardware is now installed. Check all passport information carefully for discrepancies. Any entrant with inconsistent information uh, is probably going to be denied. So, enter inspect mode using the red button that's down here, and you'll see more about that in a second. And you can press the things to highlight. So, but I'll show you that in a second as well. Uh, rules and regulations. Uh, basically, just this post is uh, for the admission of. Arsatska. So you can see here that you highlight the two pieces of the, uh, like the two discrepant in things that don't match. So this one down here is an expiration date for the passport, and this is the actual date. And if the actual date is past the expiration date, you can inst uh, interrogate them by pressing this button here, and that will pretty much uh, ask them why their thing is not right. And just again, the post and the news. So, send the first person in. And they'll give us the things. So, you see, expiration date, uh, 6-3-1984. That's okay. Um, we can pull this book up here, too, to see if these match up. like this and it appears they do but if we want to we can just check anyway so boop boop matching data so it's okay um, so everything looks pretty good I'm not gonna say that they're trying to get by without being cool so approved and give you to that <laughs> cause no trouble 
Okay, so next person coming through. Papers, please. Okay, first thing I usually look at is the expiration date. So 11-14-1982, it's 11-24, so it is past the expiration date. So we can boop and boop, discrepancy detected, interrogate, boom. You cannot enter using an expired document, that must be a typographical error. Doesn't matter to me, buddy. She gone, or he gone, you know, not, not, not doing it. So next person comes through papers please this guy's an Arstoskin citizen he does have a valid entry um, let's check if he has looking good to me the uh, passport so I believe he is a approved, and he also has a uh, uh passport. So pretty much he's all right. Oh, maybe he didn't have his. Uh... So this is what you get when you uh, mess something up. A citation. So I'm assuming what I did wrong there was admitted a guy who didn't have a valid, like his city on his passport was not a city in Arstotska. So that's one thing to look at. So uh, I know this city, East Gretzen, is a city in Arstotska. I know that Arstotska is a place. Uh, this ta date is good, valid, and so this person should be approved. So I'll give them that, and there they go. Hopefully I didn't get another citation, which I don't believe I did. Yeah, on that one, it's okay. We're good with that. So, that's pretty much the whole game. I mean, there's not much to it other than that. Um, haven't gotten too far in the game yet, so I wouldn't really know if there's much else to do. But I do know what I've, what has happened so far. So, see this? Uh, 1983 is valid. Uh... United Federation. I haven't seen any of these passports yet, so these ones. Great Rapid, yes, that's an ensuing city. Um, and that looks good, so I'm gonna say this person has a valid entry. Oh wait, the people aren't the same. <laughs> that's probably a big thing to look at. Um, there you go. I don't know what that'll do. Yeah, okay, that, that d denied him, so that's good. Good move. Good, call, good catch there. They don't look the same. Okay, so call the next person. It appears that the time has run out. Um, did they just give me... Yep, they gave me a thing for a strip club. Fantastic. I appreciate that. <laughs> Put that over there with a the citation. Um, so they are clear, their thing is Arstaskin, is Paradisian a place in Arstaskia? Yes it is, and so I will approve this person, they appear to be all legit. <laughs> Don't forget to visit, yeah, no problem. Uh, time should be pretty much up here soon enough. Papers, please. So, oh, oh, we got a, we've got a runner. <laughs> so this, okay, yeah, the guard is probably gonna attempt to take this guy out. I don't know if I do anything about this. Oh, okay. So the guard died. I killed the guy, I think. Um, <laughs> today was cut short by a terrorist attack. I'm paid progress is saved at the start of each new day. So, rent, food, heat. Pretty much that's about it. Salary, savings. And so we have zero dollars now. So that's basically the game. Um, I'll go one more day, I think, to kind of show you what's up. 
Uh, so I'm assuming more guards now, more security, and Kalachian agitators are now suspected, so we have to watch those guys. So I'm going to give one more day, and then I'm going to wrap up the video. Uh, see here, you can see now there's a lot more guards coming through. Um, entry for non-citizens is now regulated. All foreigners require a valid entry ticket. So now it's just not all foreigners. They have to actually have a valid entry ticket from their place of residence, country of residence, from the government. So you have to verify information using the... Uh, okay, so basically, if they don't have information, you have to find it in the regulation book and just press the desk that they don't have actually have that. So again, that's that, and we'll open her up, and next person can come through. Hopefully we don't have another terrorist attack that was bad the last time. So papers please, this person is from... Okay, the date is... This is a valid entry ticket for the date. Um, valid person is Outer Grouse, an actual place, basic rules. Entry must have a passport. All documents must be current. Foreigners require an entry ticket. Uh, let's see. Antirgia Outer Grouse is a place, so everything looks to be in order here. I don't know. I have to approve their entry ticket, too. I'll press it anyway. I guess I didn't need to. So, they're good to go. So, that's basically what you do from now on. The kind of the rules and circumstances change depending on um, what happens the previous day. So this guy again, out of grouse, that's legit. Expiration date, legit. Sex mail, yep, okay. He does not have an entry ticket though, and he's not from the place. So what we do is, boom, boom. Discrepancy detected, interrogate. You cannot enter without a ticket, here it is. Okay, look at that. He has a ticket. Uh, but is it legit? Let's go to the Arstotska. I guess it doesn't have very many seals. So, this looks good. I approve. Give you that, and give you that. So, that's another one of the things with interrogating. They'll sometimes present more information for you to determine what goes on if they're allowed to be going. So this person is from oh, uh, apparently is from the the strip club again. So that's good. This entry ticket is valid. Uh import. Let's see. This is a good expiration date. Let's see if uh, import Okay, it's a correct place. So I believe this person is also good. <laughs> Come to Pink Vice. <laughs> That's strip club. Nice, nice. Uh, okay, so next person coming in. Uh, papers, please. So this kind of game here is. Uh, oh, this valid is is not a valid entry ticket. Um, hold on, I have to bring up the real book. Uh, here we go. So, yep, there you go. Dark discrepancy and okay, You cannot enter today. Please let me through. Not gonna happen. What do you think this is? Okay, so basically this game is a game for people who like, like, kind of, sort of being, you know, a uh, detective type deal. They're figuring out things. I heard about the terror sack. You're lucky to have the job still. Well, what did I do? Um, valid entry ticket. Expires is good. Looks like the same person. So you can be accepted. Oh, no, I didn't mean to put, I didn't mean to put that. Well, let's see what happens. I don't. I don't really know what happens then. No. Okay. Apparently. Apparently that that messes up. So. Yeah. 
Okay, warning issued, no penalty, so that's good. Um, papers, please. Again, so this is a game for people who kind of want to detect small things and are good at looking at stuff for a while. It's actually a really fun game, to, to, uh, depending on, you know, it might not look too fun, but it actually is quite fun. 12-2, so that's not, that's not valid. Okay, discrepancy detected. Interrogate. The date on this ticket is wrong. O. Oh. That's all you have to say for yourself. Denied. Give you your stuff back. You're gone. Um, yeah, so it's for people kind of like looking at small stuff and figuring stuff out. It's more of a puzzle type adventure game sort of deal. Uh, it's actually quite fun, as I said, and I think people really enjoy it who enjoy, you know, like, point-and-click adventure games and that type of thing. Uh, oh, here's the thing. 11.25, that's today. Um, yeah, so, thanks for watching. Okay, yeah, see, sex, male, obviously not male. So, male, oh, I guess I have to pull out the book. Uh... Oh, hold on, I guess it'd be like this. Yeah. Discrepancy detected. Interrogate. <laughs> As the document says. Uh, well, that's awkward. Uh, what can I do about this? Well, I'm just going to deny them anyway. That's obviously not legit. I suppose they could be a uh, transsexual, but obviously that's or transgender, but that's uh, I guess highly unlikely in this situation. Oh. Okay. You just gonna stand here, big guy? Screw you. you'd use inspect mode to interrogate. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, okay. So, here. I was very confused. Page 2. Missing document. Okay. Oh, I see how it is. It says, um, uh, all doc entrant must have a passport. Where's your passport? Passport. No passport is required, right? Passport is required. Oh, okay, I hear you. I come back again. Bye! Yeah, so that, that happened. Okay, so that's basically the game. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. And if you would like me to do a let's play of this game, leave it in the comments section. Otherwise... That's fine, I don't really care. Um, and please join me again. Oh, also like and comment. And comment if you want to see any other games on the Check This Out series. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And see you next time.